Welcome to The Spill, Season 2, Episode 2. On today's episode, we'll be talking to two ladies who have experienced menopause. So stay tuned for this episode. And thank you so much to our sponsor, Nature's Discount Nutrition Center, your health and wellness store. I visited Nature's Discount at 7 Great George Street in Roseau, where I had an interesting and informative conversation with staff about weakened immune system and ways to strengthen, change one's lifestyle and diet. They recommended supplements and teas explaining what each is good for. As I browsed, I noticed vitamin, herbal and mineral supplements, sports nutrition, men's, women's and children's health products, dairy oil alternatives, healthy snacks, herbs, whole foods, and more. Pay a visit or call 440-0175 for info. Welcome to The Spill. Miss James, nice to have you on The Spill. It's a pleasure to be here. You are so welcome. <laughs> and Miss Bruni, nice to have you on this spill. Well, thanks for inviting me to be on this spill. And we'll move to, to, we'll move to first names, Frederica and Jessie. <laughs> so ladies, on this spill, we're speaking about issues of women's health importance, and we're going to be speaking about something so significant, menopause and your experience with it. Frederica, what had you heard about this phase of life, menopause? What had you heard about it before your own experience? Before my own experience, I heard that this menopause is a terrible thing. A lady said to me, I never asked my period to come. It just came and when it was leaving, my life was a nightmare. One lady went to the psychiatric ward. She was mentally ill because of that menopause. And another lady, she thought they had woken OB on her. So she went to Guadeloupe to use our parlance to garde. I say, well, Lord, just keep this menopause away from your child. Jesse, what about you? Well, I heard these three stories Frederica heard. And the one, the one that ended up in psychiatric unit even got divorced. That was how bad it was. But personally, when I heard the word menopause, I really thought it was just pausing about men, you know. <laughs> I thought it was just okay when you reach a certain age, you just pause mm. from men. And we have so many words associated with women's health, starting with the word men, mm -hmm. <laughs> menstruation and... <laughs> Menarche and now menopause, mm -hmm. another men word. <laughs> now, what about your own experience? How did you know, Jesse, that you were experiencing menopause? Well, before the experience, I was diagnosed as being in the menopausal phase of my life since at age 23 after a battery of tests, because I'm an epileptic. So I had to, they had to send me to Barbados to run some tests. And that was one of the um, diagnoses that I was already into menopause from since the age of 23. So you can imagine, because um, I, I, I was never regular on my period. My period would come maybe once a year. Yeah, so, you know, I was already in menopause, so my child is a miracle. <laughs> My child is a miracle. But when I got into that menopausal thing, huh, it was really a pause. Because things that would have bothered me, like when I get home and I open the door, if something was out of place, it would annoy me and then I would have to clean and but when I get into the menopause phase, you know, all I wanted to do was just take out my clothes, go in the bathroom, and just go in my bed. That's all I wanted to do. So you were, oh, is it a feeling of exhaustion? Of just ex exhaustion, you hot, okay. fatigue. 
easily annoyed. Mm. So once Irritable. I so once I see that, just for me not to keep myself in a cool space, I would just bathe and just go in my bed and sleep. When I get up, I would deal with whatever. But you care. <laughs> how, how did you know you were experiencing menopause? Well, I'm, I'm starting at the end. So the doctor I went to at the time, when I told him how I was feeling, he started laughing and laughing, laughing, laughing. So I said, but I came to you because I cannot put a name to that feeling. I explained to him, hot, tired, irritable. Although I heard about menopause, but that was far from my mind. In the sense, I like to follow people. To me, I was too young, but my friend went into menopause and I was always around her. So I find I, I went into it too. So I'm telling him everything. When he stopped laugh, he says, so you don't know then that is menopause. I said, that's what it is, all that feeling. He says, yes, that is menopause. And so I said, how long does it last? He says, forever. It doesn't go away. It goes and come back. So what was the feeling though? What hot, was the fe weak. So you had the hot flashes? Weak. Once I was in front of my class teaching. And I feel, you feel it coming. It started from my toes. You feel a funny feeling like anxiety and it goes up to the head and then you just burst a sweat. Mm. A student says, Miss, what you feeling hot, sir? I said, no, but you will understand one of those days. She watched me and she said, okay, Miss, I understand. So I always had that thick rag in my hand to sap when that sweat just bursts on you. You can be in the AC and it is coming, the sweat will come. And what about the periods? Did, did they change? Well, period change. Once I was at a hardware store and I just feel a rush of water. When I look down on the person floor, blood. Mm. I took my foot and I tried to wipe it properly and I just leave the people's store. As I'm going home, my neighbor at the time was a nurse. I said, nurse, come, I am dying. She came and by that time I'm sitting on the toilet. She says, get up a while, let me see. And then she, when I got up, the toilet was full. She said, Frederica, you are not dying. This is the beginning of your menopause. I said, that's not the beginning. No, that may be the middle. <laughs> that happened like about three other times and that was it. Okay, so the periods got heavy, but were they, they were skipping too, I would assume? No, mine just stopped. Oh. After those three rushes, I will call them, like a gold rush, but it was a blood rush for like three times. Once, it was like two months in between, and then the third one was in the same month. So I had three of them, and that was it. And, was it. and then once it came like a year after, a funny period, and then never again. Jesse, was it like that for you in terms of just a complete stop? Well, for me, I did not have this stop of period because I had a hysterectomy prior oh. because I had cervical cancer. Oh. So, period, story and menopause wasn't for me, but I would get the symptoms of when I, like I was ovulating. Yes, yeah, so your ovaries were still so there. So my ovaries are still there. So I would get all the symptoms, the nausea, the pain, the... Everything, ah, but, but no period. No period. Right. And the same anxiety. You just feel this, like you're ready to choke, you're ready to, and then all of a sudden in this water, you're drenched. And you're like, okay, the thing on me. Charlie. So right now, if you work, all you want is four o'clock to come. Mm. 
because you want to go and take out that clothes, you want to go in the bathroom, you, you, you just, you don't want anybody to talk to you in that moment. You get angry because you're uncomfortable, because you're feeling all those different things in rapid succession. It's not like you say one come in a pose. Sometimes all of them hitting you one behind the other, and you're just sweating in that moment. So I'm hearing both of you all speaking about the hot flashes. Were those hot flashes the most difficult part of menopause for, for you both, or was it something else? For me, it's not the hot flashes for me because I would be sleeping. And once I feel that, I would just get up and I would just go in the bathroom. I would just go and stand up in the bathroom because I, the same way I do not like to feel cold, I do not like to feel extra hot. So once I overheated, I am very uncomfortable, very irritable, just put a very before every emotion when I am hot or when I am too cold. So those, that hot flash thing and I just, we're not working, we're not friend. Mm. I did not know what it was like to feel hot before menopause. My friend always used to tell me, you always school, you always school. But when that menopause came, I was always hot, hot. no matter where you are. And as if you do not want clothes, you, don't, you do not want clothes on you, you just want to go everywhere without clothes. But you know we cannot do that. Now when I thought it stopped, it stopped for a while until Miss Jessica Roxanne Bruni came to talk to me for like every day. She going through these hot flashes and, and it just come back. My hot flashes just come back for like three months. I told her not to talk to me about hot flashes again. Wow. Just leave me alone. So, so Frederica, how long did that, that period of hot flashes last? The one with Jessica, the first the one. First, the first time. The first time, it went for a number of years, you know, for oh. me. Mm -hmm. Like five years or so. Then it started, like, every now and then. And then it just disappeared. And it went, and I was glad. Miss Bruni, Jessica, started her hot flashes and discussing it with me. And to me, that time, it was even worse than when... Yeah, the moment. Wow. Funny and and moment. so my body is very funny. I do not like, I, my body like to be in things. <laughs> I will not even tell you the other part. It doesn't have anything to do with menopause. If, if you get pregnant and you my friend is, I'm sick. When my niece was giving birth, it's me that was feeling the labor uh, pain. You have the compassionate illness. Uh, we are the same. Uh, we yeah, the same when my daughter have. Sometimes I take on my daughter colic. Mm, okay. So she just laugh and she just say, "Yeah, boy, mommy, this month was good. Thank you." <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay. So so with all that going on, the hot flashes. Jesse spoke of irritability. What what was recommended to you guys, or or was anything recommended to ease up? those symptoms too of menopause things. too many things what 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 did you hear black coal ash sunflower oil sunflower tablets this bush that bush did you try them because of my epilepsy i am not privy unfortunate like other people to just take anything so for me i had to put myself quickly in a mental space, which is how I deal with all my sicknesses or ailments, whatever. So I had to quickly put myself in a mental space and tell myself, if this is what you have to go through for the rest of your life, you need to get in tune and start to mentally prepare yourself. So when the hot flash come wherever you are, you take your hot flash, and according to the song now, you drink your water and just mind the hot flash business in the moment or whatever it is. So for me, my cure or my ease was through mental. Mm. 
Prajika. When I'd gone to the doctor, he did recommend all what they recommend. And other people, but, and I love tea. Any bush tea you tell me that's good for whatever, I will drink it. But funny, this time I say I am not drinking. Let it take its course. I didn't take anything. anything. Maybe I changed my diet. Oh, during wow. that time, during that time, I drink less Hennessy. <laughs> I exercise more. And I began eating a little healthier. They said okay. it, those things, but I didn't really take any tablet, any tea. I just let it take its course. Okay. And I wasn't so irritable. So it's just the hot flashes. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, because I know, you know, people recommend things. I wanted to know, you know, what, what, what you had tried. Let, let's talk a bit about, I mean, we've spoken about the physical physical symptoms and what you experienced but mental health is a big part of health you know it is a is a fundamental aspect of health and going through something like menopause which is just a, a change in your reproductive um, life it can have an impact on mental health was that the case for you ladies and if so how did you cope I'll start with the psychologist. I'll start with, I'll start with the psychology person, Miss James. Well, at that time, thank God, I had just finished my psychological degree. <laughs> and I remember learning, it's not what happened to you in life. It's how you deal with what happened to you in life. And then remember, I had already heard that lady had gone to the psychiatric ward. And I said to myself, you are not going there. Whatever happens, happens. And then this lady had given me a book where she, the book was basically talking to the men, like if your women are good. And I said, thank God I have no steady man in my life because at that time you do not want to see them. You do not want to hear them for me. So because of that, I only had to deal with me, my hot flashes, and the anxiety and sometimes some irritable ir irritability would come in but other than that i was fine mentally it wasn't i wasn't going through those things and believe it or not i always tell miss jessica you are my rock when it comes to illness if she can go through support. all what she go and just taking it mentally and not getting depressed I just have to throw it on her back and I'm fine. But Frederica, for you in particular, you said menopause started pretty early for you. So what that I didn't... call early is like 42. Okay. My friend was way almost 50 going. So why did I have to follow her? Yeah, so it happens. Yeah, different people start at different ages. But I was just wondering if, you know, that had any impact on your thought processes like okay why why is this happening at this age and any thought about child making a child any kind of thoughts like that no i was glad in a sense ah, okay i was glad in a sense and at 42 federica wasn't making any child past 40 so okay. that was <laughs> fine with me okay okay jesse well, Jesse, the, the, the mental health aspect, that's what I, I want to get from you. How did it impact your mental health? Well, for me, it did not impact my mental health per se, because my mental health is like solid as a rock, because everything that I go through is through my mental health. I deal with it. Everything I, anything I go through is mentally, I, I, I shy away from medication. I'm not very good at medication. So I just go into myself, both physically and spiritually. I tap into what calls to me at the moment and I take it from there. The only physical thing outside of my mental health is that I got a lot of boobs. 
my boobs grew. So as I'm getting older, <laughs> instead of they getting, they getting. <laughs> so that is one thing I noticed. I got physically, yeah. physically I got more boobs. Okay. I'm more busty, I'm more chesty <laughs> with the menopause. Mm -hmm. But I'm um, mentally, no, and um, spirit, when you're going through those things, you have to be able to make a connection with the Holy Spirit. And when you connect with the Holy Spirit, because He's the advocate, He's our keeper, He's the gatekeeper, and uh, just as God has a very funny sense of humor, I have a very funny sense of humor with him. So I'm like, you gave it to me, you designed me to go through this. Mm -hmm. And you say that if you take me to it, you will take me through it. So do whatever you want, whichever way, just give me the wisdom and the knowledge to deal with it. And we will go from, we will go from there. Because at the end of the day, it's, not a, it's nothing I can do about it. Get mad, get crazy, get whatever. I still have to go through the process. So I might as well go through it gracefully, accept it, and journey along with it until when the menopause was fed up with me and it leaves me, <laughs> or whichever way. And I mean, menopause is indeed a natural part, you know, of life. Some women don't see it as a sign of, aging and they're getting old was that a was that a, a a thing for any of you all either of you all not really no well if it was if it was to do with age and getting old then i'm old from since i'm 23 uh -huh. <laughs> in my case i old i am old since i'm 23 so for me it was just another thing mm. you have another thing on your plate to deal with so what best way to deal with it? How are you going to deal with that one? You have dealt with others. So how are you going to deal with that one? So I had to figure out how to deal with it to make me more comfortable and to make people around me comfortable when I am going through the process that I am not passing on my negative energy or my depression or whatever onto them. So that's... That's how I, I, I deal with things mentally. I, I, am, I have to be conscious of my environment so that in the moment I can leave the environment that I am in intact. So just, just to, to wrap up, because you all have given me your experience. You've told me, you know, how it affected you physically and, and well, not so much mental, but how you, how you, dealt with with those aspects what would you say to women maybe approaching the age where menopause happens or, or even perimenopause which is that before stage and maybe anxious about it maybe apprehensive what would you say to women out there just you know thinking about menopause like that miss james i would just tell them it's a natural process Learn all you can. Nowadays, everything is Google. Google it. Go to your doctor, discuss it. If you have a partner in your life, discuss it with them. Because it really changes you, at least for a short while. Maybe not all the time, but it changes you. So you can imagine you have your husband. You do not want to make love to your husband. Let him understand. Bring him by the doctor with you. Read up, both of you go through. It's like a learning process, although you know that it has to come. That is something you just cannot avoid. Some women, few I know, they never go through that period, just stop, mm -hmm. and they never go through anything. They're in the minority. The others, we are in style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that is true. Some people, menopause doesn't bring the symptoms that you all spoke about at all, at all. Jesse, what would you say? Well, I would just say, sis, it is natural. It is part of the human woman growing, moving on process. And so it's all about educating yourself 
as to what menopause is about. For us singles, there are certain aspects of it that will not affect us. But if you have a partner, if you are, if you are married, you have to already just tell yourself that there's going to be a time when you, your intimacy is going to be like the last thing, on, not even on the back burner, behind the stove. Mm -hmm. So you have to prepare your partner for that, for the singles that probably like to mingle. Well, there's going to be a time there, there'll be no mingling, eh, Trudy? No mingling because um, cocoa will not be for sale at that time. Mm -mm. You're not going to be selling that because that is the last thing that's on your brain there right now because all the different emotional aspects of it, you're trying to grapple with it and to make sense out of it. So as Frederica said, it's just to educate yourself. When it reach, you call it by name. It is menopause. It is part of you, you accept it, and you deal with it. Nothing like why me, nothing like how comes, why I am a woman, God, whatever. No. Menopause, and you go with it. You own it, it is yours. So let it become part of you, and it's like you, you get a new shoe or a new perfume. Just wear it as best as you can. Flash it, model, photo shoots, whatever. But we have to own the menopause because it's ours and we cannot, the majority of us cannot run away from it. So getting depressed, putting yourself into a mental, in, getting yourself into in the mental institution, certain things, they are not necessary. They are not necessary. That is why we have to build ourselves as people mentally. It is imperative that as a human being that your mental state is intact in all situations, not only for menopause, for everything, for everything. Once you can deal with a thing from a mental perspective, a lot of the signs and the symptoms and the stress are minimized to almost zero. I, I really like that. And I, I like the concept too of owning it yes, you know and and it being a natural part yeah. of womanhood yeah. you know so that is that is definitely something the audience can live with yeah. anyway i have know? to talk about it women don't like people to know that they're going through menopause right you talk about it it's like we're doing on the spiel yes you <laughs> find <laughs> you yes you find somebody to Talk about it. There is nothing about old being in menopause. I'm not old. I don't know if I'm ready. Oh, I am not old. <laughs> <laughs> I, may be, I may be closer to 60 than 6, but I'm not old. <laughs> so I am carrying my menopause in grace and class and voila. Thank you. So this is where we will wrap up this interview it was such a pleasure to speak to you ladies and for you to really be candid about your experience with menopause and your encouragement for us who have maybe not gone through menopause or are apprehensive about it so just own it when it comes all right so thank you once again for being on the spill and it was a great pleasure you're welcome, you're welcome. thank you I visited Nature's Discount at 7 Great George Street in Roseau, where I had an interesting and informative conversation with staff about weakened immune system and ways to strengthen, change one's lifestyle and diet. They recommended supplements and teas explaining what each is good for. As I browsed, I noticed vitamin, herbal and mineral supplements, sports nutrition, men's, women's and children's health products, dairy oil alternatives, healthy snacks, herbs, whole foods, and more. Pay a visit or call 440-0175. Thank you so much for looking at this episode of The Spill. Thank you to our guests who shared their stories with us. And thank you to our sponsor, Nature's Discount Nutrition Center, your health and wellness store. Remember, if you liked this episode of The Spill, and I know you did, Please make sure to share it so your friends and family can get to see it too. 
and we can continue having these discussions on women's health topics. Remember Women's Health Plus. Like, share, subscribe.